in the beginning, I saw the inn on the shore of a lake in the heart of the wood. I saw a man clad in armor with a cape as red as blood. This was a man who knew war and now he knew peace. A man with a red cape had stalked him to this place and struck him down before himself departing, but not before the cape knight had discharged his final duty. Ah, Bedouin, friend of Autorigus, he bellowed. I believe this belongs to you. He had been carrying a peculiar weapon, a sword wrapped in cloth. The sword was unlike any other, the two blades extending from its golden hilt had shown signs that it had seen its final battle. Bedvin, having his proclamation, cast the sword into the lake. But as the blade neared the watery surface, it suddenly stopped. Where once was open air, there was now a beautiful woman cradling the sword in our arms as if it were a child. The woman, now descending slowly into the lake, and as she did, an unearthly voice rang out. Thy task is done. I met the man Bedwin, at the edge of the forest, alive and well. His tired eyes filled with fury at the sight of me. He provided sage counsel so many times throughout his life. You could have warned him! You should have warned him. Bedwin's voice trailed off as his rage was replaced with sadness. This man had lost his friend, Arthurigus, was it? Not just a man or a friend. But a king, Bedwin exclaimed. Arthurigus had summoned Bedwin and assigned him one final task before breathing his last. To lay the sword Excalibur to rest in the lake at the center of the wood, a task he had failed twice thus far. I remained silent. Bedwin spoke again. There's no escaping this, is there? Every time I try, every time I try to leave, I wind up back in the front of the forest. I considered warning him of the lakeside ambush, but realized it would do no good. What was to be would always be, for it has already been. Take care of yourself, Bedwin, I said, and at that, he ventured into the woods.
What's going on my boys? Dan here back again with a brand new video. I'm here today to bring you guys a spicy new deck. I think it's actually something that um, you guys have been asking me for. And also, um, I think I'm bringing some light to a card that's been previously ignored in other videos, I think. So let's just jump right into it. So everybody kind of gets this whole Noble Knight um, rundown or this Noble Knight deck, the style of play. You basically get out at least two Noble Knight monsters and bounce the equipped spells between two monsters. Now, I guess the Wallet Warrior version of this deck will run three of these and you use his effect to multiply the two. But I guess the Intelligent Wallet Warrior will just go for these ultra rare beasts. Now, Ties of the Brethren is really good because it allows you to immediately swarm the field with three Noble Knight monsters. That's obviously an advantage because you're gonna have more monsters than your opponent, but also the hugest advantage because it's least likely for you to lose one of your equips forever. They have to kill all your monsters at once and that normally does not happen. Now the reason why that doesn't happen is because we got a lot of clever cards and clever tricks to use. I've taken out cards and re-added cards. When you watch the preview, I might not have had all the same cards, but the fact still remains that some cards in this deck you can afford to remove and take out or etc. So it's a very versatile toolbox style deck yet you want to really pay attention to the style of play you're adhering to. I'm basically going to just destroy everything that's the target of this deck is just to constantly make sure I'm just blowing cards off the board and I found that the best way to do that is to make sure that I run this card here. Now you might wonder, you know, what are you gonna do with this card? Um, it's actually disgusting. It's a dark monster level five, and you can special summon it if it's a monster similar to this one where it says, this card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field. If they have this effect, you can special summon him by tributing off this monster. Now I run, of course, four monsters that can use that, that have that, I guess, crutch or whatever. So you can use him to summon him. Now when you summon him out, his effect says you can tribute one monster on the field so that you can search your deck for an equip card and add it to the hand. But what you wanna do is use his effect to tribute himself, right? Send him to the graveyard, go get any equip you want, and then just summon another one of these guys. Because his second effect says while he's in the graveyard, you can tribute one of these guys to special summon him yet again. So basically, you can constantly search your deck for whatever equip spell you need at the moment. And you can do it over and over again. And then you also have Glory of the Noble Knights, which just kind of leads more into this. You saw in my intro that a guy was playing super defensive with all his cards face down. I took a huge advantage of that and blew him away with just this man and this one spell. That's why you only run one because you can always afford to get him right back. Now, there's another quick play spell that I really like for this deck. Um, I think it's called Hidden Arsenal or something like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but I know that it's, it works really well. Oh no, Swords at Dawn. It basically says, it's a quick play spell that says target an equip card in the graveyard, find an appropriate target and slap the equip on it. And basically you can, you use this card to equip to Noble Knight Dryston so that you can destroy your opponent's monsters. Uh, you know, that's pretty straightforward, but if I wasn't running, I feel like if there's any more, any room for this, there's enough room for that. So I think I, I'll just keep these at two. I used to have them at one. Now, I've seen a lot of people play this deck and use Double Cyclone at two. I'm like, no, you need a Double Cyclone at one and you need a Release Restraint Wave at one because this card can destroy any face-up cards that stay on the board. And a lot of times I use this card to destroy that goddamn Amazonas Trap after using this card to trigger it. So it's lots of destruction and then you can just get in there for fucking game. And then they can't really retaliate because if you have something like this face down, you can equip your monster and destroy their card. <laughs> it's very, very convenient. Um, I don't know, It's uh, I really like this deck a lot. It's very strong, it's very powerful, and it 
really keeps control of a duel. So let's just jump right in there. Now I also didn't mention that um, the dual qualif the world championship qualifiers are here, and I'm pretty excited to be getting in there for that. I already qualified and got to the, you know, I'm already dual level 15, I guess, because I technically already qualified from hitting KLG at some point within the last seven months. Um, I hit KLG every month last seven months, so at some point in the last seven months is when. Um, uh, I don't know when you got qualified for this so uh, I'm excited for it I'm going to be grinding it out and um, yeah let's do it let's hop right into King of Games because we're not going to go into the qualifiers yet I'm not going to be playing that online with anybody I'm just going to be playing that by myself and get my train on Trying to learn what I'm gonna play in this uh, in this thing coming up. Get some real good practice in. And for anybody that's out there wondering if they can do that qualifiers thing, you can do it, man. You can do it. Don't be discouraged. I know it might sound crazy or seem impossible. But I know you can do it, so don't give up. All right. Here we go. Here's one. Here's two. Uh. No. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Cause they're gonna kill him probably. Yeah, they're probably gonna kill him, but it's uh Yugi. If they kill him that'd be easy because you can pop it and then you can get him right back, you know what I mean? Yep, here's the jester. Or at least he's gonna try. Oh and a wand and a jester. I need normal, so Since he committed to it, I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up. Bang. He gets the search. Stank magician. GG. <laughs> it's a very, very good deck. So my boys, please enjoy the rest of this day. Get your train on. Get your battle on. I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep because when I wake up in the morning, we're going to be getting right back at it, my boys. So I catch you in the morning. Keep it dank.